Susan Loveless. And I'm Susan Epps. And, and we are, are the Elementary Math, math Specialists. Specialists. And we're here to share some tips that you can use at home with your children to help them with math. Tip number one, help them see that math is all around them. I've got some candy. Now we can use estimation skills. Susan, how many of these Reese pieces do you think are in this bag? Maybe 20. After they have it, they can have the candy, count it, and figure out how close they were. Another great thing is toys. All the kids love toys and they love poppets. We've got these and they're in groups of 10, so I can count this down. Pop three. Susan, how many more to make 10? Seven. Excellent. These tools show that math is all around us. Tip number two. We want students to see that math is all around them in the real world. What did you do today, Susan? We baked cookies with Grandma. Oh, so if the recipe called for three-fourths a cup and you have one-fourth a cup, how many would you need? Hmm, one-fourth, two-fourths, three-fourths. Three! I needed three of them. Good job. See, math is all around us in the real world. Tip number three is to play board games with your kids. Games like Monopoly use tons of math skills. They can count the money that they have and figure out their total. They can count the spaces that they're moving their pieces in the game. And they can either figure out how much change they need to get back after paying rent at Park Place. Another great thing is using things like dice and dominoes. I'm going to show you a game that we play all the time. This is called What's Under Your Thumb. So here I see my total is seven. Susan, if my total is seven, what's under my thumb? Three, four, five, six, seven. Four! Excellent! This also helps little ones recognize dice patterns. Tip number four is that we want to develop positive attitudes toward math in our children. So, when people say, Oh, Mom, I can't do this math. Oh, you can't do it yet. Using phrases like that help to develop confidence in mathematics because we want everyone to believe that they're a math person. Because when you love math and think you're good at it, you, you will be. be. 